behind me. These are all the items I'm trying on today and all these really pretty colors. So I'm super excited. And as always, you can find everything linked down below. I make it super easy for you guys. I list the names. My sizing will be in the description on Like to Know It. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask. I would love to help you out. today's try on haul with this varsity jacket. I got this one in a size 6 and if you've been watching my videos for some time now you know I'm obsessed with the color Riverstone. So obviously I had to pick it up in Riverstone but the detailing of this jacket is so nice. I can't even explain to you like the feeling of this material but it is like such high quality and I love that they used a different material for um, the bands on the arms, the wrist. It's like a stretchier material and I like that they did added like different colors to kind of like break it up. But I just love the fit of this jacket. I would say it's not very oversized. So if you want it oversized, you might want to size up. I'm typically a size six in jackets. I have enough like arm length and I can button up and I can have a, a layer under it, but I couldn't do anything like too thick. Like it just fits pretty true to size, but it's really pretty. So this will definitely get its use throughout the rest of fall and winter. I think it's so cute. And I think this is a good like lightweight summer jacket too. I don't know, it's gonna be really cute with sneakers and it's just more sporty and fun. I feel like Lululemon releases like their best items around this time. So I definitely got my hands on some good stuff. I moved the camera down a little bit so you can see a better look at the jacket, but it has like really nice buttons. I love that they chose buttons to match the color of the jacket. They have pockets. Like this is one of my favorite bombers I think I've ever tried. There's a bomber from Aloe right now that I really wanna get that's like a light tan color and it's more full length. So kind of debating on that, it's kind of expensive. So I'm like, do I wanna keep one of these and get like a longer one or do I wanna keep both of these? Because they are really cute. Sometimes it's nice to have a full length jacket, but this is like a good little crop length one. Here's the black one. I feel like this one's such a classic and like will go with literally everything. I mean, the other one will too, but who doesn't love black clothing? Like, looks so, so good. I can't wait to style it. I just don't really enjoy other clothing besides like the sportier clothing. Like I feel like I look weird in like dressier clothing. So this feels like me. And I feel like that's why I buy a ton of Lululemon and I just feel my best in Lulu. And then this one is the same size. So same fit. If I could only get one, I don't know what color I would honestly choose. This one would definitely probably stay more clean. I'm curious to know how it's gonna wash. I don't think it's gonna have any issues. This is the snap front varsity jacket. It says it's sweat wicking, quick drying, and wind resistant. And I forgot to say with the other one there is that like stretchy material at the end of the jacket and all the way to the back just like the sleeves and arms. And then it has the neck piece too. I absolutely love this quilted zip up. I've seen a lot of reviews of people saying they didn't like the arms, but I kind of like a bigger arm. Like, I think it looks cute. This one's definitely a little more oversized than the half zip. I tried that in store and I tried it on in an extra small small, which is my normal like scuba size. And it was like kind of snug. So I might want to size up um, if I do end up ordering it, but it was super cute. I honestly don't know what, what one I like more. I feel like I would wear this one more, so I'll probably just stick to keeping this one, but this is how it fits zipped up. You can't adjust the waistband, I don't think. It is just like a scrunched bottom, which is kind of a bummer. I like to be able to adjust them. Um, it does have pockets. At first I didn't think it had pockets because it's so like seamless that I was like, oh no, I can't keep this jacket. <laughs> I have to have pockets. That's like a deal breaker for me. And again, this isn't my favorite like color right now, the Riverstone. The texture is just so pretty and good on this. And it's a very like soft, thick jacket. I feel like this looks like a nicer, dressier looking jacket, obviously, than the Varsity one. So this one you could like wear out to dinner. I don't know. I just feel like you could do a lot with this one as well as dress it down too. 
Okay, this is really cute. I haven't tried this on yet. It's in a really, really nice material. I like the fit of it. It's a size small. It's definitely super cozy. This is a good holiday sweater. You can pair it with a skirt if you want to dress it up or some trousers or just like leggings like I have on. I have on like my knit socks and it looks pretty cute together and you could do your like Ugg boots. I know these sweaters are pricey, but they definitely like hold up well. They wash well. The quality is really good. I have a couple. I haven't bought a ton, um, but now that I know I really like them, I'm starting to add more to the collection because they do last. And I like that it's kind of like a, a little mock neck. It's very pretty. And I feel like this one would look good if you like tuck it up and all the way around and did like high-waisted denim that would be really cute or like leather pants i see seen Abercrombie is doing like this huge sale right now and the leather pants I've been wanting are like $40 so I'm like okay I think I need to order them and I think this would look really cute with it so I think this is my sign and maybe yours too because whenever they do a sale I go crazy why did my fan just turn on why does this happen I don't want my fan on before I take this off I feel like I need to try on this quilted jacket over it. I think this would look really pretty and I want to see if I can like layer under this. Okay, this is really cute. Yeah, I love this. This is really pretty. This is like a cute little dinner outfit. You know, you don't have to get too dressed up. It's nothing over the top. You definitely will be like comfy and warm. And I could see like black little Chelsea boots looking good with this or if you want to dress it down some Uggs. Okay, this is definitely going to be another keep. I love the detailing and like texture of this. It's a pretty ribbed. This material is just so like buttery and nice. I got this in a size 6. I haven't bought these in a while. My other ones aren't ribbed. Um, I honestly kind of forgot about them. I think it's because all my old ones are in a size 4 and I definitely am not a 4 anymore so I need to sell those. So I'm glad I picked up another one. And again, another Riverstone piece. You can't have too many Riverstone. These you can flip down for like little hand warmer so it's a good like running shirt it has reflectors on it and then I believe a pocket yeah you can do like a little house key in it car key headphone like ear pod case I've seen people do that the zipper is pretty seamless you don't really see it I don't think there's really anything going on in the back that I remember yet no. but I know Amazon does have some really good dupes I have a few but I feel like this the Lulu one it just holds up better and it just fits better and it would look a little bit better with a sports bra but you can zip this all the way up i have some really cute cream sneakers that i know would look really good with this i really really like this color i think it's gray sage it doesn't say on here of course but i got it in a size six i think i can find better like i want to get gray sage in another color but i don't know if i'm loving this like it's a comfy cozy fit i like that it covers the butt like that's nice but like this part of the arm is like surprisingly super tight and i i guarantee you it probably would stretch out and be a little more comfortable as you wear it like as i'm pulling on it it definitely is loosening it up and it feels better but I don't know kind of 50 50 on this one I do like the neck detailing I think that's really pretty this is just like a good throw on shirt after leaving the gym honestly I don't even know what it's for one to reach for again and again the soft cotton top features a open V neckline and a roomy fit relax fit bum covering length longer in the back yeah I, sometimes it says like oh this is for running this is for yoga so this is probably just more of like like an everyday wear piece of clothing but it doesn't really say but it's nice and flowy it is a really nice material I'm just not used to wearing stuff like this but it definitely is legging friendly so if you want a legging friendly shirt this one's for you this is a new Align tank they came out with. It's definitely different than all their other ones. Typically, they don't do like a square neck or these buttons. So it's like a cute, nice addition. And this one's ribbed. Comes in a few colors, but I had to get a staple color and my favorite color to start. I don't know that I'll be purchasing a ton of these. I definitely want to keep the black one. It's just not ideal for my cup size, but I do really, really like it just the shelf bra is kind of small in it compared to the other line tanks I feel like and after ordering the original line tank now in my cup size for C&D 
there's just so much coverage so it's like hard to go back to these ones that are for a smaller cup size just because I do spill out of it but I am a little swollen right now because it is that time of the month so I might be able to make this fit better that's why I'm kind of like debating and holding on to it until I go back to like my normal cup size and that'll really you know determine what I do with it but it's it fits just like the other Align tanks like the back's the same this is my typical size 6 I would get but it is a really cute basic and I could see this looking really good in the summertime with denim shorts like not just as active wear um I'm not sure what they made this for either um it doesn't really say if it's for working out yoga or anything like that I always wear these tanks for working out um and there is removable cup pads too so I'll just throw my cardigan on over it just to show you like it's just like a cute little basic tank I know a lot of you want these to be made a little bit longer there is like longer aligned tanks you can grab for but it would be nice to have like maybe one more inch um just so your stomach doesn't have to show next I'm going to be trying on these scuba the cord pants these are in a size six I'll move the camera down a little bit more so you can see. I'm like in between sizes, which is kind of annoying. I went in store to try on the four and it just pulled really tight right here, but the waist fit better. The size six has like a tiny bit of like gapping, nothing crazy. They still stay up, like they are hugging on my thighs enough and butt enough to stay up and I could get these hemmed if I wanted them to fit perfect obviously I could take them in to someone that could do that but they are at a really good length on me I think they're like super cozy I do have a lot of espresso tops to go with this so it's gonna be cute to pair my online mock neck with it and like other materials that aren't velvet because I did pick up the velvet hoodie to go over it to make like a really cute set. I got this in an extra small small and I do really like this item too. I just wish you could adjust it at the bottom with like the drawstring like the um, soft stream half zips and I think it would be cute if you could like cinch it in um, but I could just like tuck it up and then like have my stomach showing a little bit to kind of like break it up. I think that would be really cute. It does have like a nice hood on it. I like that and I have like the neck raised. It's just like a nice cozy warm feeling for like the fall and winter time and the quality of this velvet's really nice. They always drop velvet around this time so I love this time of year. Um, I definitely like how wide these pants are. I just think the set is perfect. Like, it's really really pretty and I believe it does come in Riverstone. I think that's the color I tried on in store which is surprising. I didn't get that over this but I felt Felt like I bought a ton of Riverstone, so I needed to like switch it up a little bit. Yeah. All right, we are finally to the new leggings. I picked one up in a size six. 28 inch and one up in a size 4 28 inch. I meant to get one in a 25 inch but that's fine. But the main difference is the seams in the back. Like they do not have another legging like this besides like the line legging and then they completely change the front of the legging. Which I see a lot of reviews of people saying they either absolutely love it or they absolutely hate it. And the reasons why they are saying they hate it is because it does like pick up more like lint which it does you can see it on this black pair of leggings i tried these on for tiktok a few days ago and had like a gray sweatshirt um and it kind of got the lint on it but that doesn't typically like bother me you just lint roll it off you know before you head out the door and then there is a back pocket i don't know like i actually really do like the feeling of these because i feel like a thick align and I just like the shaping of the like the back on the butt better than the Wonder Train. This material holds up better than a line. So I, I really like them, but we do need to see a no front seam legging from Lulu. Like I cannot believe they haven't released one yet. Like they would make so much money. I know the company already does, but imagine how much more money they would make without a front seam. It's very surprising they haven't, but I'm sure it's like in the works somewhere and they will release one. If you guys have tried these, you're gonna have to let me know what you thought of them. I think it's worth trying because everyone has their own opinion 
opinion on clothes, how it shapes their body. So definitely go in store and try it on. I think you'll be surprised. Before I move the camera down, I'll let you guys see the waist and the back. And I'm starting off with the navy size six leggings. So I typically wear size four. I had a feeling these were gonna run like super tiny. So that's why I got the size six, but I don't think the size six is gonna stay up on me. And I like my leggings like super tight and compressive. So I think I'm just gonna stick with the size four. A lot of people complain about this stomach area, but it doesn't really bother me. I like the new seams. Like, I think it's a good switch up. The material's super nice. I don't know. I typically just wear black leggings, so these color combos are just throwing me off a little bit, I feel like. But let me try on the size four so that way you can see how that one fits too. So these size four are definitely a lot tighter, um, but I don't like adjusting my leggings during my workout. So I want something super tight and just like feeling like I'm being held in. So I prefer the size four. These are the 28 inch as well. I regret not getting the 25, so I might have to exchange for that. 28s are good for the winter time, just keep me a little bit more warm with the length but I do have them pretty shimmied up I don't know if you guys can see but I could really pull them down if I wanted to I'm curious to know like your guys's opinion like I love hearing your feedback on the new arrivals as well so you have to let me know what you liked what you tried out I think I absolutely loved everything but like one item that long sleeve shirt so I think it was a successful haul. I can't wait to see what they're gonna bring before the year ends. I cannot believe it's almost Christmas. Like I have so much shopping to still do. Like are you guys last minute like me? Cause I feel like I have a lot of stuff left. I have parties this coming week. So I gotta get going on that stuff. I'm hoping they come out with even more leggings. I, it's about time Lulu releases the new leggings. They did release that new Wondermost material that's super nice if you haven't tried that that material runs pretty snug but they did good this year so very happy with what they released and that is it for today's haul guys thank you so much for hanging out don't forget to let me know down below some of the items that you tried that you loved or didn't love all the links are down below and before you go don't forget to subscribe to my channel Turn on the notification bell so you don't miss a video of mine. And give this video a thumbs up. I appreciate you guys so much and I will see you in the next YouTube video. Mm -hmm.